Hey guys, Finish Beef back in action, and we are about to play Skyrim. Now, I've held off a few days on doing uh, the Skyrim LP only because I want people who have the game and who are subscribed to me to get ahead of me because I don't want to spoil their fun. And I hope that people who are playing and are ahead of me do not spoil my fun. So please don't tell me what's going to happen. I want to know nothing. I want all of this to be a surprise. I did some preliminary tests just to test out um, video and stuff. And it looks like this is going to work well. I have the, all the settings maxed out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the way the game looks. And we are ready to start a new game. So if, uh, if it seems like I know what's going on, it's because I played the first 15, 20 minutes of the game already just to test things out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's probably why. But after that, I'm a noob. And I'm gonna shut up while the um, while the character interaction is going, cause I don't like it when LPers comment over when characters are speaking to each other. The dialogue is really important, and I think I might turn on subtitles too. What do you guys think about that? Uh, let me know in the comments if I should turn on subtitles so you can follow along. Uh, otherwise, I will not talk over the speaking parts, or I'll try not to. And uh, and you guys can probably just follow along that way instead of reading subtitles. But anyway. Um, let's get on with the story here, I guess. Obviously, this is looking very nice already. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Oh, it's a nice looking village we got here. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. Where? And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Oh, probably one yeah, of those no. guys. I bet they had something to do with this. The elves, huh? Something to do with capturing me and my horse thief buddy and these two dudes. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Oh. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Oh, best mead ever. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? your business, kid. You need to go inside with them. Yeah. Go Why? inside. I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. You jerk. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Hmm. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. End of the line, homie. Ooh, nice shoes, bro. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. All right, I am not controlling this Face dude. your death for some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> call those Empire loves people. their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor 
Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <laughs> Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill and me. He's and running. And he's running. And he's just been shot. Wait, you there? Yes. Step forward. Okay. Who are you? Hmm, character creation time. Okay, so first off, I'm not gonna be a Nord. Everybody picks Nord. So I'm going to pick something else. Let's take a look at these races here. Argonian, reptile race, well suited for the treacherous swamps, developed natural resistance to diseases, and the ability to breathe underwater. Can call upon the hit skin to, to regenerate health very quickly. That's cool. Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of High Rocks Bretons can boast a resistance to magic. Hmm. There's one creepy looking dude right there. Also known as Dunmer. In their homeland of Morrowind, dark elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. Wow. Oh my god, this guy looks creepier than the last guy. Jesus. Alright, also known as Altmer. In their homeland of Somerset Isle. The High Elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their highborn power to regenerate Magicka quickly. I'm more of a tank type of guy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I, uh, I kind of like just grabbing some weapons and bashing the crap out of people. I don't like messing around with magic and stuff. Kind of like Minecraft. I don't mess around with redstone and fancy stuff like that. I just like to go and destroy some faces. So I don't think I'm going to pick any of these magic dudes this mouse wheel. There we go. Imperial. Natives of Cyrodiil. They have proved to be shrewd diplomats and traitors. Now this is good because I like money. <laughs> they are skilled with combat and magic. I like this. Skilled with combat. Magic. Mm. Anywhere gold coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a few more. Oh, I like that a lot. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. That's interesting. Ew. <laughs> what the? F okay. That looks creepy as hell. Can I? Oh, man. Can I zoom out on him to check out his whole body? Not that I want to check out his body. Moving along. <laughs> Hailing from the province of Ellswear, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. Al Khajiit can see in the dark and will have an. I want to have unarmed claw attacks. That's just weird. Nord. Citizens of Skyrim. They are a tall and fair-haired people. Strong and hardy Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make opponents flee. See, the whole talent as warriors thing is tempting, but again, most people pick Nords, so I'm going to try to stay away from the Nords. Orcs. Wow. That is one handsome dude. He actually looks pretty cool. People of Rothgaria, I don't know how to pronounce that, and Dragon Tail Mountains. Orcish smiths are proud of their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using their berserker rage. Redguard, the most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel. I like that. Naturally talented warrior. Uh, the Redguards of Hammerfell. Have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. Adrenaline rush in combat, eh? Wood elf. Yikes! That is scary. Well, I guess we can at least read <laughs> what they're good at. I'm not picking this thing. That looks like some sort of alien. The clan folk of the western Valenwood forests, also known as Bosmer. Wood elves make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. I've never found archery to be very advan advantageous in, in these types of games. Either magic or just straight out brute force usually works for me. Okay, so, thinking between three, either the Red Guard, the Orc, or the Imperial. Now, I like the Imperial because these guys, I 
like that they they find more more gold coins. Gold is important in these games. All right, I think I made up my mind. Imperial it is. Let's check out his body. <laughs> Ooh, sexy lady. Oh yeah, so hot. No, we're not gonna pick a female. We are male. Well, that that guy looks awesome. Man. All right, what else we got as a preset? That guy looks like a thief. That guy looks old. He looks weird. He looks like a rocker. <laughs> I don't like him either. He looks too way too old. This guy looks like Johnny Depp. I don't want to pick Johnny Depp. <laughs> I like this guy actually. Where is he? There he is. He looks cool. Looks real cool. Looks too tough though. I gotta change his hair. Skin tone. A little lighter. Try to reflect my own skin tone. And this is also this also reflects my own physique. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that buff, guys. I'm not buff at all. I'm gonna stop talking about my physique. <laughs> um, I like that. Is that war paint that he's got on, or just? really long eyebrows I think it's war paint but it looks really cool alright so that's what we're gonna go with head complexion huh I'm not ugh, these things are so difficult to grab there we go oh I see kinda adding some hmm now we'll go with the smooth complexion dirt it's got a dirty face. No, man. We wash our face. Dirt color scars. He's got those nasty scars on his face, but maybe we can... Hmm. Oh, that's on this side. That's on this side, too. I like the eye scar. The classic eye scar. Okay, war paint. Oh, 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 the hand over the mouth, that's classic. The skull, where is it? There it is. Man, this guy looks mean. Oh, I like that one, actually. Where was that? Right here? That looks cool. I think that's what we're going to go with. War paint color. Red? Are you kidding me? That looks awesome. Done. Face. Nose type. I kind of like his nose. I don't want to change it. Leave it. Nose height. Uh, could it be a little lower? Like that? No, that looks too low. We'll back up here. Like that. I, th I think that's fine. Nose length. Ooh. <laughs> no, I think the nose length is... Well, that, I guess that. All right, there we go. Jaw width. Let's see. He's got a big. He's got to have a big, strong jaw. That's narrow and that's really wide. I like that. He's tough. Jaw height. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Oh, it's so hard to see with the shadows and the beard. I kind of like the, well, about there is good, I think. Jaw forward, we'll f we won't worry about that. Cheekbone height. Cheekbone height, huh? Can we lower it a bit? There we go. Cheekbone width. I like that. Yeah. All right cheek color oh he's got like oh I see okay that's much better yeah we'll have just regular um, I guess no cheek color to match his skin type laugh lines this dude doesn't look like he does a lot of laughing we're not gonna bother with laugh lines cheek color lower oh down here well that's nothing nose color chin color neck color forehead color all that looks fine to me eyes Eye shape. Eye shape looks good. I like it. 
eye color, huh? Oh yeah, oh shoot, look at that, he's blind. Oh look at that, bloodshot eyes right there, that's crazy. Huh, let me see. I think I kinda like... Ooh, that looks creepy. The bright blue eyes, holy crap. Alright, we're keeping that. Eye height, that's fine. Eye width. That is fine. Eye depth. Eye depth. That's fine. Man, that's a lot of detail. Eye line color. We're not worrying about eye line. Eye shadow? I mean, we have the war paint, so I don't think that even matters. I'll just leave it. Eye tint. Oh, you can change the tint of the eyes. Which, hence the term eye tint. <laughs> All right, good. Brow. Oh, we don't want to mess with his brow. His brow looks fabulous. He's got a fabulous brow. A handsome man right here. <laughs> mouth shape, mouth height. I like the mouth shape. Well, well, maybe not. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh. I like that. And that, too. Oh no, that looks kind of strange. That's probably best, but it's it's a little forward, but we can change that, I think. Mouth height is fine, I think. Mouth forward, I think, is what I need to change here. It looks a little too far forward. I think that's better. Chin width. Hard to see. Oh yeah, no, he's got well that's more that looks good actually. Super wide chin sauce. <laughs> chin length. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine, I think. Chin forward. Let's see. Oh he's got an underbite. Underbite? Overbite. I guess about there looks good. Lip color. How about no lip color? There we go. Good. Hair. Alright. Hair is very important. We're gonna... <laughs> that doesn't look right at all. <laughs> oh man, it's so hard to grab these things. Oh. Let's take a look here. What's going on? Hmm, interesting hairstyles. Oh, look at this. That's just too weird for me, though. Oh, the shaved head. That's kind of cool. The stubble, that's kind of cool. I think I want some actual hair, though, so... I saw one that looked pretty good. Like, this one looks pretty cool. Kind of looks a little, a little too metrosexual for this guy. Of course, we could go with this. I think this is the hair that he originally had. Or that. What about this one? That looks pretty good. Hmm. I don't like the mohawk. I think we're going to go with this. This one right here. Because he's got the braids here, it looks like. Hmm. I think that's it. Okay, facial hair. Oh, I like that. That kind of looks like a Leonidas beard from 300. Done. Light color, white. Go all Gandalf on their ass. I like black, but I think this color is a little better. It's like a dark brown. I think we're good. 
I like the way he's looking. He's got the war paint, the crazy blue eyes, the nice hair with the braids, and the King Leonidas beard. Awesome. Let's do this. Fi finish and name your character. Okay. Let's see. We'll call him... Hmm. Let's call him... Daniel. Why Daniel? Because that's my real name, <laughs> first of all. And it's kind of like a... I think it fits the the era. You're a long way from the Imperial City. What are you doing in Skyrim? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you'll remain so the to Sivadu. Follow the captain, prisoner. All right. This is this is where things get real. I don't like the looks of that dude with that axe or whatever that All thing is. Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Look at this guy. As you wish. Oh, this crazy guy. Come on. I haven't got all morning. Wow. This guy's in a hurry. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Oh jeez. You say the same. Children look away. Off with his head. Right into a fancy wooden crate. Imperial bastards. Huh? Who said that? Justice. Oh, it was her. Death as is fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the this guy is very Cyril. emotional. Me? Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Oh, come on. Okay. This, I am not walking towards this guy. Wow, he looks kind of weird. Oh boy. Whoa, there he is. It's a dragon. What do you see? It's in the Dragon! Oh. Oh, what's going on here? Get up, get up! WASD, yeah, I know this. This way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, alright. Okay. You gonna let me in there, Chief? What is that thing? the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. So what now? We need to move now! Can I loot stuff? Let's go. Oh, she's injured. I can't take anything yet. Let's go. I'm now. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. We just need to move. Whoa! Alright, that scared the crap out of me. I don't think I got this far last time. That scared the crap out of me. Now what? I can't climb this. Jump through the roof and keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, that hurt me. Now what? If I sleep, the monsters will go away. Right? Right? <laughs> it's not night. I can't sleep. can only sleep at night.
Oh. Hammond, you need to get over here. Now! Hey, what do you want? Not a boy. You're doing great. Toro! Stop! Everyone get back! Okay. Still alive, prisoner? Yes. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Okay. Gunner, take care of the boy. Why don't you give me a weapon, General chief? Tolias and join the defense. God's guide. Still can't loot. Stay close to the wall. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Dude, you follow me. Holy crap, what the hell? This is madness. Whoa. Oh. Running. Oh, jeez. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. Make your way to the keep. Enter the keep with Hadvar or Ralph. Okay, so thief who did not speak a word to get me free or the dude who wanted to take my head off I think I'm going with this guy I'm here dude oh that texture looks pretty bad <laughs> I'm I'm here oh all right okay pretty intense so far And it's loading. Completed. Enter the keep with Hadvor or Ralph. Okay. Can I loot yet? We'll meet again in Solemn Guard, brother. Oh man, that's a shame. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Yeah, dude. That thing was a dragon. No doubt. Well, yeah. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Get them off, get them off. There you go. Sweet. May as well take Gunyar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Oh, you got that right. He's dead. Okay, iron war axe. Stone fur boots. Dude, be naked. Sorry, Gunjar. Right. Get that armor tankered. on. Get that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find them. Skills, items, weapons, equipped, apparel, foot wraps. How about we replace the foot wraps with some fur boots and replace the tunic with a curious. Oh, I like that. It tells you there at the bottom of the screen right here what the values will be. So if I put that on, I will lose 23 points of armor. That's cool. Same with the uh, foot wraps. I'll lose six points of armor. So, all right. So I think no we're good. Are to ready your weapon. Ah, this one's locked. Block. See about that gate. Ah! Swing. Okay, that's good. This way's right. locked. No way to open this from oh. our side. What? Are you kidding me, dude? Whoa. Come on, it's the Imperials. Keep moving. Take cover. Take cover. Get this gate open. How do I? How do I? Oh, like that. We're gonna attack them, aren't we? Ha ha! No, 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 no! Oh, they're both on me, dude. Help me out! Oh my God, this is no good. Okay. Dude, you are useless in combat. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Biatch. Helgen keep key. Armor. Helmet. Oh, man. Some good stuff. Oh, tidy whiteies. Or tidy yellowies. Um, Imperial armor. You know what? I'm going to take everything for now. Oh, man. OK. 
key. All right. It, it definitely will unlock the door, but before I do that... Okay, so this will be damage minus five. It's a sword, though. Swords are cooler than a war axe. Well, they're not really, but... A dagger. Wait, I can do a wield. So that's... Okay. That's cool, but... I have no block this way, and I kind of need block right now. So we're gonna... We're gonna take that off. We'll keep the war axe for now. Imperial armor. Up 5, up 5, up 11. Plus 12. Now I have a helmet. Are you kidding me? And my weight, I can still carry a lot more. Oh, this helmet's even better. I wonder what I look like now. Is there a way to look at me? <laughs> I guess there will be. I'm not going to mess around with the... Uh, the settings right now. Let's get out of here. I will, dude. But right now, I'm going to leave you guys. This is the this has been the first episode of my Skyrim LP. I'm very excited. I am kicking ass already, even though this guy here is freaking useless. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care. <laughs>